Hi friends, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. And I got another package today, just as I was editing the unboxing video that I just posted. July 8th, I posted one. July 8th, I got this thing. Uh, this is from White Mountain Knives. I live in Canada. Every single time I've ordered from White Mountain Knives, I've got the package through to my address here in Canada. And that's because the owner doesn't put the business name on the sending from. He puts his own address on there, the owner's address. Totally legit. And, uh, you know, he does call them knives. It says knife here on what was sent. So it's not lying to customs at all. Canadian Customs Board, Canada Border Services Agency. Uh, totally legit way to ship products. And I've ordered from him over a dozen times every single time it comes through. If you're looking for good prices on knives, go to whitemountainknives.com. They've got some of the best prices and you save 10%. Well, everybody who watches this saves 10% from their website when you use coupon code CCE. Well, let's take this thing to the tabletop and find out what's inside. I think I've got five knives in this package. Keep watching. Uh, this is the new knife from Amare, the Field Bro, and I just unboxed this yesterday. And uh, I'm using it because I'll do the review of it, hopefully very soon before I leave for uh, Ontario. So there we go. I'm just going to pull this off screen and pull out one at a time here. I've got a steel wheel, because there's those uh, peanuts in there. I don't want to run them all over the place. I've got a Harns. I've got a CJRB, I've got an Ultra X, and I've got a QSP. And I'll be getting more QSP knives as well. Um, QSP has sent me a whole batch of knives to review. So hopefully they will arrive before I go to Ontario to visit my family for the summer. So if you haven't watched the unboxing, I will be taking a summer break where I uh, will be reviewing very, very little over the summer because uh, when I'm at my parents, I like to spend my time with my parents, especially since my mom has a uh, terminal cancer. So I won't be taking time off to make videos, you know, unless I go visit my wife's family and, you know, we've got time to do something like that on a day or two. Now, check this out. This is the beak. That looks like a beak of some kind of raptor. It's a high flat grind, 14C 28 inch stainless steel. We've got jimping along the uh, tang of the blade, close over halfway along. Of course, that's a recurve right there. I don't mind sharpening recurves. I've got special stones for it. I've actually done a review of some really nice Venev diamond stones that are great for sharpening recurves. And uh, sharpening, re sharpening recurves is not hard once you get the uh, good equipment. If you've got a guided sharpening system, all you need to do is get the right stones. So forward choil here, there's even jimping on it. That's unusual on forward choils. And there's jimping on the G10 there. And the liners, the steel liners, come back to this screw. And then these screws are just through the G10 which is plenty. So you've got three screws to hold it, a hollow uh, tube for your uh, lanyard. Don't know why that was missing my, not working in my brain. My friend in Nebraska says another Hearns knife has arrived at his place recently. So uh, I've got more Hearns knives coming. Uh, when uh, Lee at Love Them Knives and some other people have tested Hearns knives, they have the steel that they say they have. So I trust them with that. Pocket clip is right and left. Comes in several colors, but I wanted to get the bright yellow one. Seems quite comfortable in hand, especially when you use that forward choil. And uh, not as comfortable back here, but still very comfortable. You know, largely because it's got that nice rounded back. So, deep carry pocket clip, but a little bit of knife exposed. So the Harn's beak. Steel will. And this is the, uh, the Kobold or Kobold. I'm not sure what the right name is for it. How, I mean, how to pronounce it. F66. And then the specific color for this one is the 04. 
F6604, and uh, let's pull it out of here. Do they have glue or tape, I mean? Oh, there we go. And pull that out. Steel will. There we go. I've not done many uh, Wii Wednesday reviews recently. And uh, somebody commented on that and noticed it. And I realized, oh yeah, I haven't. Almond, almond, aluminum, orange backspacer, and, oh, that's a good flipper. Yeah, good flipper. And there it says Kubold, G10, uh, pocket clip is right side only, tip down. I think it's D2 steel. Yep, it says D2 right there. And it's uh, stone wash. It's not a... Not one of those thicker black coatings. You can actually, maybe I can get a decent, get it to focus here. There you go. So there's the knife close up. I'll get better video when I actually do the review. So we'll be doing a review of that guy. Probably not. Well, maybe before I leave for summer. CJRB, another budget brand. It's a new budget brand. Uh, they've been out just a little bit, about a year and a half now since the company started shipping knives. I haven't got one of these plastic cases before. Oh, got to do the end as well. So it's got latches on both ends and the side. And uh, none of their knives have had these kind of cases before, as I said. And there's their paperwork white plastic here there's a layer of uh, carbon fiber big lanyard hole open pillar three pillars good solid knife deep carry pocket clip but because of the way they did the lanyard hole you've got about a centimeter about a half an inch, a little less than half an inch, would be sticking out of your pocket. Looks like full blade thickness till just before the end there. It's called the BOA D2 steel, and it's got a very forward swept uh, American style Tanto blade. And with the sort of drop point, that makes that a good puncturing tool. Uh, the American style tantos are very good for puncture, puncturing in the first place. So that's a very strong blade as far as if you ever want to pry on something, which I don't advise doing, but almost everybody does it every once in a while, regardless of uh, what's best to do or not do. Saber grind, so a flat grind that doesn't come all the way to the spine. Bit of a forward choil. Actually, it's not that bad. I've, my hand does fit in there, my finger, I mean, without uh, nicking the edge on that sharp spot. Two finger forward choil, and both my fingers fit in there just barely. My hands are right on the verge between large and extra large. Chamfered edge here, chamfered edge here. And that helps it make it helps make it comfortable in hand. And uh, the, the brand name again is Ultra X, and they have an X on the uh, pivot pins. But just a standard flat screwdriver works very well to uh, loosen and tighten those, so you don't have to get a special tool to take it apart. And those other screws are Torx, just like everything else we see here. That looks good. Nice OD green, and might be a little thick. Feels like it's over half an inch thick. So we'll put that guy right down here. Okay, uh, this camera is not always focusing when I want it to, but now it's focused back on that surface. And now for the QSP knife. And open the flap, and they do a card. I don't know how to say the name of this one. Uh, let's just take it out first, put it down. It is the uh, well, 
Oh, focus again. There you go. It's the deva or diva. It's not the diva. I call it deva. When two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. At least that's how I learned it when I was a kid. So that would be deva in English. QS107 and dash B for the color code. And uh, let's take it out. It's also OD green and black, but it's G10. It's a little bit oily. That's my last knife, so I don't care if I get my fingers oily. I'll uh, redo it. Oh, it's a tip down pocket clip. That's uncommon. I don't mind tip down at all. I guess I didn't take a close look at it before I ordered, but that's I'm totally fine with tip down. Uh, it's got a coating on the blade. That's a dark gray color instead of black, which I like. Titanium coating, probably. I'll, I'll double check everything when I've got the uh, review happening. It's got multi-tools with it, which doesn't happen all that often. So a bottle opener there. And on this side, we've got a ripper. So let's take a good look at those. Of course, it goes all the way down. And with that rounded point, that gives it a good spot to sit. And it's got a glass breaker. And I'll find out exactly what material their glass breaker is made of when I do the review. So those are nice. This is a good multi-tool. And uh, the blade shape, drop point, Swedge on the leading edge there. Nice belly, a long straight section. Fairly aggressive jimping back here. Maybe too aggressive for my liking. We'll find out when I put it under hard use. But we've got a nice radius on the handle. Oh, on this side especially, very, very close tolerances, that seam between the black and the OD green. On this side, I can feel the uh, ridge right there. It's not quite as close, but it looks very close. A little bit of a relief there to get your thumb in there to unlock the knife. Good action. That feels nice. Ah, there's no skeletonizing on the liners on this one either. I think I'd probably like it if they did some skeletonizing on this. I like it a bit better. It's got a bit of weight to it. You know, with the extra features. So I didn't really check the action on this. I wish the uh, had better. I wish this knife had better access to the lock release. I have to push down and in a fair bit on this one. This is the Ultra X. Yeah. I don't really like that that much. I often sell my knives, uh, but it takes at least a month after I review it before I sell it, or about a month. If I was to keep this, I think I would take this down a little bit further, the G10 and the liner, to give a little better access to that a liner release. On this guy, very good. I like the action on this. Very solid, good detent on this one. Better than this guy. These two are better. The Kubold, yeah, it's got good access to that liner release. I would maybe like a little better access, but it's not bad. And that's not really a forward choil, but it's a nice rounded edge there. It's easy to put your finger there if you need to. And this guy, you know, it's got the access lock, so thumb studs. And uh, you can probably move that thumb stud in that space there. It's got Torx hole there, probably a T6. I'll check that out and see if you can adjust that uh, thumb stud to different spots if you prefer. This is further back. I might like it a little bit forward. Very light, very nice. So there you go. Here are the uh, knives that I've got in this package. Thanks for watching my little video. 
please leave a comment down below. The comments make a lot of difference uh, with uh, YouTube. If they're going to be, you know, it just makes a difference. It makes my videos do better. Uh, any, any, any YouTube video, if you like that YouTuber, it's a great, easy, free way to promote them. Leave a comment. It really does make a difference. Clicking on the like is good and it's helpful, but leaving a comment is probably 10 times better than hitting the like button in terms of you know, showing that you really appreciate that video. And leave any comments you want down below, as long as they're good and clean. I do have some children, some youngsters watching my videos, uh, especially the unboxing, so I really appreciate it if you keep the comment section uh, good and family friendly. Thank you for watching my little video. I like to do a variety of colors on knives. This is done pretty well. Nice little set. I appreciate uh, your patronage on my channel, my patrons, my patrons. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. And I appreciate it. Um, this is well, probably, here. where is it? There we go. This number of knives and probably these knives uh, every month, this is how much Patreon helps me. The equivalent of me purchasing these knives. I get them from White Mountain Knives at a discount, a reviewer's discount, but they're still far from free. But thank you very much to Justin over at White Mountain Knives. Um, and please do use your coupon code CCE when you go to White Mountain Knives. Uh, that lets them know that you've come there from my channel. And uh, hey, it saves you a little bit of money as well. Until next time, remember, always... Cut towards your chum, not your thumb. Bye for now.